everybody, Joel Hansen here. Today we're at the Harbor Diner in the north end of Hamilton. So, can't wait. I've been wanting to try this place for so long. So here's what's going on. So I have been challenged by this awesome restaurant here to eat a wide variety of their massive sandwiches. They were calling them sandwiches. I think it's pretty impressive. So, essentially what we have going on. I have what is a prime rib sandwich. I then have a BLT. I have a Harburger, get it, Harbor Burger, Harburger. I have an excellent looking triple decker clubhouse. Look at this beautiful thing. I then have a Manhattan, which is corned beef, love it. We have a lobster and shrimp uh, sandwich, which looks absolutely delicious, super fresh. Then I also have a fried egg sandwich here. We got seven sandwiches. This looks absolutely delicious. I'm so excited. Everything's local here, super fresh. Staff are just exquisite. So essentially, we're just gonna dig into this. I'll tell you how it is. And we have coleslaw and pickles with each one as well. I like both, luckily. So with that, let's just kind of get started. I'll start maybe with the fried egg sandwich. Should be good. Ooh, I can tell this is gonna be good. Look at that thing. So that everybody, let's go. I love it. Got the yolk drip in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. The flavors. Loved it. Eggs are cooked perfectly. Female bacon on there. Perfect level of, I don't know, like breakfast goodness. Spice, delicious. Here we have a awesome looking BLT. I haven't even digging into this one. That bacon. And there's avocado on it. Delicious. Mm. Avocado is such a nice addition, so fresh. Mm. Let's try this roast beef. Prime rib, to be more specific. Oh, it's a heavy one. Woo! Just look at it. Lots of meat on there. Very juicy. Lots of horseradish. Mm. Lovely flavors. Mm. So moist, so rich. Mm. Mm. That horseradish, ooh. Such a nice touch. Mm. Super impressed. Mm. Love that. Give it some of these plates, some pickles.
try this lovely looking. How about the burger, actually? Oh, this lovely looking heart burger. Mm. Bacon, tomato, lettuce. Just look at it. Delicious looking fresh thing. Tell that's good beef. Get my friend Mr. Ketchup out. Perfect. Exactly the way it should be. Super good. Let's go for these massive triple decker clubhouses now. I don't really know how to eat this. Can I get it all off in one little go? Let's see what I can do. Mm -hmm. So good. They make the turkey here. Like it's real turkey, it's roasted. You can taste the rosemary and all these delicious spices in it. Love it. Really wholesome bread as well. Nice and grainy. I'm right by the window, I'm getting some funny look. People are wondering, why is that guy eating those sandwiches like that? And the answer is because they're freaking delicious. That's why. Let's do this delicious looking shrimp and lobster sandwich. Mm. I can tell this bun it's on is like a, it's kind of like a croissant. Look at all that. It's just loaded with delicious lobster shrimp goodness. Let's try it. Mm. Wow, that's fresh. Can we have some avocado? Some bacon.
try to stay clean. So good though. Those sandwiches. Last we had the Manhattan, which this is an impressively sized sandwich. Look at the size of that toast on that. That is a beautiful, beautiful. This is heavy. There's no way this is not a pound. Beautiful looking sandwich. Mm. Oh my gosh. I actually don't know if I can bite into this. It's that big. Like, I don't know if I can do it. I'm gonna eat some of this delicious coleslaw though. Because I have about seven in front of me. Love the dressing. Nice and creamy. Nice good of a bit of acidity. Like I said, this is an impressively sized sandwich. I really don't think, I'll, I don't know if I'll be able to take that one bite. But, I'll try it. No, I won't be able to. Rye bread. All right. Mm. Barely. Yeah. Got some egg on there. Nice and warm with that corned beef. Super moist. Nice bit of spice and taste of cloves and everything. Big sandwich. Put that there so I don't feel like I'm making a mess. All right, flat done. That was a sandwich extravaganza. Mm. Different flavors, really good portions. That Manhattan was huge. Really enjoyed them. Everything was really, really good. I love the flavors, of everything. Even like the eggs, the uh, the egg sandwich, like, and it's we'll call it simplicity or remix. It was exquisite. I very much enjoyed that. 
<coughs> excuse me. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. So, everybody, huge thank you to everybody here at the Harvard Diner. Would recommend Northern Hamilton Strong, <coughs> north of the tracks. And seriously, what's so cool is their menu. They have what is undoubtedly some of the coolest, most innovative breakfast items I've ever seen or heard of. And you better bet that I'm going to be back. So everybody, till next time, well, I don't know. Maybe we'll get something sweet. Maybe we'll get some dessert. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back after those seven delicious sandwiches. Uh, so we have a beautiful homemade cookie and a beautiful homemade donut. <clears throat> we have a peach and blueberry crumble, which looks excellent. Really some like innovative, unique creations here. I think that's what I'm like, all these items, both of the sandwiches, all their breakfast items, just so unique, like the flavors they're mixing. We have a kind of raisin, uh, like butter pie, raisin raisin pie, kind of like a butter tart. <clears throat> My personal favorite, coconut cream pie. Again, everything is totally homemade. Looks absolutely delicious. We then have some milkshakes made with a local uh, dairy company called Hewitt's. So this is actually a grape, grape flavored milkshake. And this is uh, maple walnut. So, <laughs> like, this is amazing. I'm gonna start with this crumble, blueberry peach. So let's see what it's like. I'm telling you guys, I'm filling up. Look, we're at like, we're at like a good, I don't know, seven months. Let's see, it's a blueberry crumble. Oh yeah. Just the flavors in that, the pastry. Like they make everything here, and you can really tell that is definitely like a homemade pastry. I love it. Perfectly cooked. Whereas the peach even still has a little bit of texture to it. That was phenomenal. I exceeded my expectations. Try this awesome looking cookie. A nice density, a nice texture. Obviously chocolate chip. Can't go wrong with that. Cute little donut. It has like a almost like maple, brown sugar, maybe caramel taste to it. I like it. Very delicious. Beautiful raisin pie. Oh my gosh, oh yeah. This is dense. Just the density and the texture on this. I can tell that is going to be good. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, oh my gosh. Mm. 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 You have a like caramelized sugar. Mm. Oh wow, there, my stomach's expanding. I gotta push the table, but okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh, mm. that raisin. Man, that is perfect. 
It was by far one of the best tasting. Like butter tart, pie, things I've ever had. Oh wow. I mean, sweet. They're wholly delectable. Oh wow. Just that, oh, that caramelized sugar, that burnt sugar. It's where people walk by. Holy jumper. Delicious. Wow. But it's sweet. I'll give it that. Starting to heat up. Try this uh, grape milkshake. It looks like Barney. Look at that nice light purple. Not really sure what a grape milkshake will taste like. So like you can, it's like it is grapey, but it's a lot lighter than I would have thought. Like. It's nice. It's a good taste. Like in grape, I felt like it could have been really, really good or not so good, but it's really, really good. I've kind of, I feel like I've kind of tasted something like before. Like I've called like, I had some called like a Barney ice cream or something before. That's kind of what it tastes like. Purple. Purple flavor. I have this coconut cream pie. Coconut cream pie. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's lots of coconut in this. And it tastes very coconutty. So a lot of the coconut cream pies I've had in the past are usually very sweet. And they're relying on like fillings or custards. This is just straight up relying on that coconut. That is legit. Legit coconut cream pie. I like it. All right, last but not least, maple walnut milkshake. There we go. Had a really nice, ch had a big chunk there. So yeah, I mean, undoubtedly, that's all. Like, I got some good wallets in that bite. Definitely that maple-ish, walnut-y flavor that you kind of expect. Pretty light tasting. Although, I mean, I did just have a whole bunch of pies, and you know, some of them are pretty sweet. But I do like it. It's really nice. Oh, I'm full though, I'll tell you that much. I did that. That was an amazing and intense visit to the Harbor Diner. Their breakfast items, their menu, sounds absolutely exquisite. Definitely gonna try that next time. But their sandwiches and the desserts? Words can't describe. Super cool place, would recommend. If you're in Hamilton or the surrounding area, definitely the Harbor Diner would recommend. So that everybody, until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry. Don't do what I do, and happy eating. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Welcome to the Joel Hansen Show. Today, we're at the Harbor Diner in the north end of Halifax. Oh my God. 